PeteTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete, Pete's Tools. That beautiful day here in Paradise. Wouldn't be dead for a million bucks today. Anyway, guys, still a bit of confusion about the old Pilot Arc plasma torches. So what Pete thought you'd do today was, let's pull one of these suckers down and actually see what's inside the thing. It's not as complicated as what you might think, guys. Anyway, guys, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and let's go and pull this sucker down. So for all you guys that are new to my channel, Pilot Arc Plasma Torch is you push the button like this and a flame comes out the end, like this. Pretty cool, eh? And the non-Pilot Arc one is you push the button all that comes out is air until you touch it on whatever you're cutting. So now you're saying to yourself, well what's the difference Pete? What's the advantage of one over the other? Well I'll show you the difference guys. This is my crappy table here, it's got all sorts of crap on it. Now if I was to try and strike an arc on that, and I didn't have a pilot arc torch, it would be pretty hard to get started on this. But you watch what happens with this. That's the story, Pete. Just go and cut a hunk out of your table, you friggin' half it. Anyway, guys, I couldn't find a bit of scrap metal, so anyway, I'll have to fix that later, guys. But you get the point. Pull the trigger. Flame comes out. Pilot arc. Now, this is a P80 Panasonic torch. Pilot arc, obviously, and the connections on this are just the same as a normal plasma torch on your normal, like, generic Chinese plasma cutter, because that's all I use, so that's all I know about. This one here is just standard, this is with your 16mm where your air goes in. This is your on-off switch here, like so. And we've just got this extra wire here. See this extra green wire? And that's the pilot art wire. And that's basically the only difference in the fittings. So now what we'll do guys is we'll pull this sucker to bits and I'll show you the, what's going on with this wire inside the torch. Just grab the old trusty drill. See that guys? It's been around a bit this drill but she's still going. Hee <laughs> hee! Rightio, let's pull them to bits. Remember guys, come say good day at PeteTools.com. There's always good stuff there for you to have a look at. Alright, let's open the sucker up, see what we got. Yeah! Alright, this is what we have here guys. So guys, this is a pretty simple setup really. And I think they're all much of a muchness, well the Chinese ones are anyway. So we've got the two wires for your switch here which go into this connector here that plugs into your plasma cutter. It's just a simple on and off switch. Just contact, non-contact switch. This one here with the 16mm uh, air fitting on it just comes up here and it goes into the torch head so that you get the air blowing out of your nozzle here. But there's a trick to these air hoses, guys. I'll show you in a minute. And then this wire here, which is the extra wire that I told you about for the Pilot Arc torch, goes down there, up there, and if we pull the switch out here, so it gets soldered into here guys, can you see that in there? If I pull that out of there, like so, you should be able to see it. You see how that green wire comes up there and it gets soldered into here? So what I'll do guys is I'll show you where this wire goes, it might be green or it might be red, doesn't really matter what colour it is. But I'll show you where it goes in relation to your consumables up the top here. We disassemble this guys and just take the ceramic off. This is all pretty well basic standard stuff. Take the cutting nozzle off, and then if you have one of these stupid little tools that you normally get with your gun, guys, just grab that and take the electrode out because it's pretty hard to do that with a crescent because it hasn't really got enough groove in there for you to grab it. So just grab it like that, undo your electrode like so. I always lose these bloody things, mate, so I end up doing it with a crescent and half the time I end up snapping the electrode in half, but that's just me. <laughs> so we'll take them out, just your standard electrode like that, guys. So if you grab your multimeter, See at the moment here we've got one, so what I need that to read is zero, 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 so it's got a direct short. So if you look on the screen there guys, we've got one there, so if I touch these two together, we should have a direct short. Zero, 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 see that? We've got a direct short going through there now. So if we stick one of these prongs under this joint here, this is where it goes into the torch, and then we touch it on here. See that guys? We've got a direct short. So what it's basically doing is telling us that from this here where this wire goes in, goes through the gun there, so you've got direct short there, comes up here and it goes to the outside of our plasma torch here. 
So what happens if we touch it on the inside where the uh, electrode screws in? Let's have a look, see what happens if we do that. Absolutely nothing. So what it's telling us is this wire here is connected up to the outside of our cutting tip, not to the inside of the electrode. And you might be saying, well, what difference does that make, Pete? Well, I've got a couple of videos, actually, on how to do a quick conversion. If you haven't got pilot arc, how to make your uh, torch into a pilot arc one to start cutting rusty stuff, or you've got to cut some paint or something. So I'll put those links in the description down below, and check out those ones, too. I've just got a little quick hack that I've figured out how to do, that I've been using for years, and it doesn't seem to damage my machine. But like I say, you know, it's up to you guys if you want to do that hack or not. So now you know what that wire does, guys. It's no big deal at all, really, is it? Anyway, like I was saying before... This hose here is not just an air hose. It's a trick for young players, this thing. I'll cut one in half and I'll show you what's in it, guys. All right, guys, let's just reassemble this torch before I lose half of it, and then I'll show you about that air hose that I was talking about before. These are really simple to put back together, guys. The only trick that I've found is these switches here, especially the inbuilt switch like this. It's got a little groove, a little nodule that it fits in there. You can see it's got a little sort of a tip thing on it. Make sure that goes into the right slidey hole there. If you can see that, guys, there's a little slide there. And also, before you put the other side of the torch on, make sure that the switch is half closed because it just locks in, in a little piece of plastic under here so it doesn't pop all the way out. So stick them in there like so. And grab the top half, just whack them on like that, and then uh, grab your trusty drill and do them up again. There you go guys, good as new, yeah! So what we've got here guys is a CNC style P80 torch. Same thing, pilot arc and all the rest of it. So what I'll do guys is I'll cut this lead here and I'll show you what's inside the airline. You might be surprised a little bit. Things I do for you guys, I don't know, gonna cut a perfectly good airline. Anyway, let's get into it, eh? Hee hee! So guys, we've got an on off switch here, we've got our pilot arc wire here going into the uh, the heat shielding here, so what I'll do is I'll cut this off and I'll show you what's in there. Things I do for you fellas, I don't know. See what's in there guys? Just take some of the hose off and I'll show you. Have a look at that guys, see that? We've got a big lead in here. See I'm running a 40 amp rated plasma cutter and this is actually a 60 amp torch. So this will be rated at 60 amps, this wire running up the guts of this airline here. It supplies power to your cutting tip and your electrode. Not only that, when it gets warm, when you've been cut a while, the air coming around the outside of this, in this tube, cools off the wire. So there you go, you see, it's not just a simple air hose like I thought it was years ago because I ran over the thing and then, um, yeah, had all sorts of issues. So guys, that's about it for this time. All you didn't need to know about plasma cutters and pilot arc torches. Anyway, guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com and happy plasma cutting, guys. Peachtools.com.